Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickam this is a covid 19 world news the topic today is covid vaccine update in the united states and from around the world as of january 23 2021 please do subscribe to our channel and before i go to the main feature presentation i would like you to take a look at my covid-19 pandemic an international guide on amazon.com and you can also check out my other publications while you are there so let us begin with the main feature presentation covid vaccine update here in the united states and from around the world if you look at some of the headlines in the news media you may be baffled to see biden covid-19 czar calls trump vaccine planning so much worse than we could have imagined we'll explore that biden inheriting non-existent coronavirus vaccine distribution plan and must start from scratch this is from cnn where they have to retrieve their statements uh, in the following uh, presentations trump administration had no plan for covid vaccine distribution by dr michael osterholm is this real news or fake news so let us really explore the facts president trump had the operation warp speed which was one of the best ones to distribute the vaccine all across the country when all these newspapers were making all these uh, statements about uh, vaccine distribution here is uh, president uh, joe biden who says uh, nothing can change the course of a covid pandemic over the next uh, several months what does that mean so whatever has to be done has already been done so nothing is going to change according to the president who was criticizing Donald Trump for 8 months before the election and now 2 days after taking the office he says nothing can be done to change the course of covid pandemic over the next several months so where where is the truth is this the truth or whatever the, the news media is carrying is that the truth let us look at the facts don't rely on these catchy statements and don't rely on this uh, announcements because they are not facts let's look at facts united states has shipped 39.8 million doses of covid vaccine it has been shipped from the factories through the operation warp speed to states so the vaccines are in the possession of 50 states 1.6 million doses of covid vaccine was administered on just friday on january 22nd 2021 that was yesterday to this date the united states has administered 19.2 million doses of covid vaccine now here is the catch 52% of the vaccine that was shipped to the states has been sitting in the freezers so the real question need to be asked not about vaccine plan by the federal government what is the vaccine plan by the state governments both democratic and republican governments how are they distributing and administering the vaccine to their citizens that is the real question here is a chart from world data center from world data center this is as of january 22nd 2021 the united states has administered 19.11 million units of covid vaccine which is the highest number of units administered anywhere in the world the next united kingdom comes close to that with 5.85 million units followed by israel and then united arab emirates even germany is far far behind even though it is a lead country in the european union now let's look at from a comparative point of view 
When COVID vaccine doses administered per 100 people as of January 22nd, 2021, Israel has administered 38.83 units of uh, COVID vaccine per 100 people, whereas uh, UAE has administered 23.65, United Kingdom 8.62, and United States 5.7 and the rest of them are below the United States. So this is not something that you can accomplish in a country of 330 million people if you had no COVID vaccine distribution or administration plan. So we have to rely on facts. All these catchy headlines and sensational TV openings don't actually reflect the reality on the ground. So these are hard data collected worldwide and this is where the United States stands. 5.77 units of vaccine administered per 100 population. Let's look at the bright side coming. I'm not someone who likes to look in the back and criticize but I just wanted to put the facts before so you can judge for yourself as what is truth and what is uh, fantasy in the media. Johnson and Johnson vaccine is uh, getting ready to be submitted to the FDA in approximately two weeks. From the initial reports, the vaccine seems to be promising, but hopefully it would have enough data to support uh, the vaccine's uh, effectiveness. And if this is approved, Johnson & Johnson is willing to produce 100 million doses of a COVID vaccine. And the beauty of this is it can be given, it says once a day, I should say, it, it's just a one day protocol as compared to Pfizer, uh, Oxford and Moderna, all of which require two doses so separated by three to four weeks. Let's pray and hope Johnson & Johnson's vaccine comes through so that we should be able to vaccinate more and more people. Hopefully we must be able to reach most of the vulnerable population here, here in the United States uh, by summer. We are already doing 1.6 million units per day and as more vaccine becomes available, as more centers are set up, in fact I sent a master vaccination plan to the mayor of uh, Houston, to the mayor of Sugarland, explaining how we should set up like election booths in every county, in the county halls, set up these vaccination booths staffed by FEMA, National Guards, so that the vaccination can be expeditiously increased to a point where we can reach each and every member in every community. Hospitals are doing a great job in addressing large mass vaccinations and so are the cities but I think we need a community level vaccine shops in every community hall in each part of the country so that we can reach millions of people in a short period of time. So let us hope and pray that we can get to vaccinate most of the people by the end of this summer and the good news before I conclude is the infection rate is less than 10%. At the peak, the infection rate in here in Texas was like 20-24%. That is one out of every four person who was tested was showing up positive test. With this, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to conclude my presentation by inviting you to look at my COVID-19 pandemic, an international guide, and also check out my other publications. Until next time, you have been watching COVID-19 world news update, vaccine status here in the United States and around the world. This has been a presentation of a Triple N News. Please do subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.